there was one word to describe Maple Chigar. Visionary. He's probably one of the greatest rappers of all time. I'm getting choked up just thinking about him. Hello world, let me wrap this up. Yo, 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 I'm rapping still. I had worked with Shigor for almost a year. Uh, and you just know genius when you see it. Yeah, it's a Vermont state of mind, yeah. Yeah, I was one of Maple's closest friends and backup dancers. Oh man, we used to sit around his house, reminiscing on life. Think of rhymes and beats. I can remember one time he just stood on stage and and said nothing, and it blew my mind. That's it. He said it was a symbol for hip hop, but being in that state of mind, sometimes you just needed to feel it on the inside first. It's going, it's going, man. Yo, 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 my peoples. I always remember where I was on the day of the incident. Maple Chagor was such an inspirational rapper to many musicians here on campus. We were shooting a music video for his song, uh, Lovely Day. So Shigo hired me to do a dance video on a bridge near his old home. What a lovely day, lovely day at the lake. At the lake. It's a family, family vacation. vacation, a mass celebration at the lake. At the oh, crap. Don't hit oh. oh my god. It was terrible. He fell off the bridge. You never saw him again. My client just fell in the water. What are you doing about this? I always love this pond this time of year. Uh, it reminds me of Lake Willoughby. Stu and I, that was Sugar's real name. Uh, Stu and I used to go to Lake Willoughby all the time as kids when, with our family. Um, in fact, I got a, I got a postcard here. Um, we got this on a trip a long time ago. Uh, he always used to love going there because it was such a natural space for him to be creative and and you know I always loved that side of him and and he used this exact postcard for his album cover um, but that, that's just who he was he was passionate genuine and creative and I always used to envy that in him his drive his charisma eventually I learned that's that's who he was and I I didn't envy him for being who he was. I, I, I wanted to be myself too. I don't think that I'll ever meet or work with anyone as dedicated to their craft as Shigar was. He teaches us to hold on to our dreams and to never be afraid of the unexpected. Because you never know what's going to be around the next corner. Thank you, Mabel. Thank you, Shigar. Thanks, Shig. Papa bless.